There are so many benefits to Google Drive. I love that I can work on my documents anywhere, on any computer, and I love the collaboration features. But the more we are in Google Drive and the more I use it in my professional life, the harder it can be to find what you're looking for, unless you know a few tricks. So today I'm going to share five tips and tricks that I use to find things more efficiently in Google Drive. Before we start, it's helpful to understand the structure of Drive. There's a lot here, so we're just going to cover the essential parts today. My Drive is like your personal file cabinet. These are documents that you regularly use. They are only accessible to you unless you share them with another person. Shared Drives are shared spaces where teams can easily store their files. Files and shared drives are owned by the team instead of by an individual. This is useful because when a team member leaves, the files won't be lost. They will stay with the team and the team can continue to be productive. Shared with me typically contains a million documents and files and folders. Anytime anyone has said, hey, I think Danielle should see this file, it shows up here. Honestly, this portion of Drive is super overwhelming to me. So this will be my tip one. Don't waste time organizing the shared with me section. Please don't waste your time organizing it or putting it into folders. If someone shares something with you that you actually want, you are going to click on it, right click, and then click add shortcut to drive. That takes that folder document or file and puts it into your personal folder system up here in my drive. It took me a long time to be okay with the section being messy and all over the place, but honestly, I just don't have time to keep up with it, and I bet you don't either. Again, if you actually want something that is shared with you, right click on the file or folder and click add shortcut to drive. Then you can search for it, put it in a folder and actually use it. Tip two, use grid view when you are looking for something. This is list view. It's fine sometimes, but if I'm looking for something in particular, I typically switch over to grid view by clicking here. I like that I can see pictures of my documents. It helps when I'm searching for something specific, but I don't know the name. Usually I know kind of what it looks like, so grid view helps. You can go back and forth at any time by clicking here. So I often change it to meet my needs at the time. Tip three, use advanced searching within Drive. This search bar at the top of Drive is pretty useful but it can be even more useful if you know how to use advanced search. Click this icon right here to access the advanced searching section. Now I can search by file type, by owner, within a specific drive, like a team drive, or even in the trash. I can even search for any words found within the file. For example, I want to search for an ethics in a digital world choice board that I created. I know it was created in documents. I know that it was owned by me. And I can't even remember the item name, but I know that somewhere in it, it has the words choice board. And I'm going to click search. Here is that document I was searching for. It brings it right to the top. I often use this advanced searching to help me quickly find documents in my Google Drive. Tip four, use the eye to view file details and activity. This eye icon in the upper right hand corner allows you to view details on any file. After I've used advanced search, I will often turn on this eye as I look at each file. When I click on the file, Notice it brings up a lot of details about that file. It will tell me who all has access to it. It will tell me the recent activity, so who was in it, what they did. And if there are any approvals, it will tell me that as well. I like that I can see this additional details. And sometimes this helps me as I'm looking through these documents and trying to find the right file. Tip five, use stars for things you access often. If you find or create something that you access a lot, you can label it with a star. This will put it in the starred file section over here 
for easy access. So if there is something that you created that you use often or that you want to be able to find quickly, you can click on it, right click, and say add to starred. You can also do this within the document by clicking the star up here next to the title. You can see once I put the star on it, it shows up here and then it puts it in the starred section. Hopefully these five tips will help you find things more efficiently in Google Drive. If this was all new to you, play the video again, pause after each tip, and then actually go into your drive and try it. Practice searching for a specific thing. Practice searching by words within a document. Star something that you frequently use. Rewind, pause, replay this video as often as you need in order to learn these top five skills. And please reach out to your EdTech coach if you need additional help help with this or anything else in the ed tech world. We are here to help.